On May 17th, the Game Creator Jam began with the theme Aftermath. For those who don't know, a Game Jam is an event where you have to make a game in a very short period of time, in this case, 10 days. This year though, I decided to put on the game developer's hat and participate. But not only that, to make things more interesting, I will also, <clears throat> hope so, make a series of short videos narrating my experience, explaining what problems I've had along the way and how I resolved them. So without further ado, welcome to the Aftermath devlog. So day one. I don't plan on squeezing the whole 10 days because I have another module to work on, but I think I can manage making a vertical slice in about 4 to 5 days. Will I manage? We'll see. First of all, I need to think of a concept. Since I'm currently developing the shooter module for Game Creator 2 and it's in a pretty advanced state, I'm thinking it's a good idea to put it to test and make a shooting game, but using only 3D models and animations downloaded from the asset store. After a couple of hours skimming through pages and pages of 3D models of various qualities, I stumbled upon this one, Kowloon. Kowloon was a city in Hong Kong that started as a military outpost but grew into the most dense city in the entire world. Buildings were erected without following any city plans and anarchy reigned until the whole city was demolished by the Chinese government in 1994. Moody, rainy, cyberpunky city? Why not? When it comes to quality character models at an affordable price, Maxim is actually the first publisher that comes to my mind. A couple of minutes looking through his models and found this one that suits the theme perfectly. I also picked this pack from the same publisher, which will fit as the enemies. Ok, but what is this game going to be about? We have a city and we have a characters. Well, before answering that question, I should probably get back to work and have a character that can move, reload and shoot around the scene. So, coffee break and see you next time.